Hi, this is Kenny Lee. Today we're going to do a Newton's Second Law demonstration lab. And in this lab, we're going to figure out a couple of different things. We're going to figure out the force that this plunger is popping out with to propel this cart and how that relates to the mass or the amount of force that we use. For this demonstration lab, the first set of experiments that we're going to do, we're going to keep the force the same, and we're going to increase the mass from half a kilogram to one kilogram to one and a half kilograms while keeping the force the same. What would you notice about the inertia of the cart as we increase the mass? What would you notice about the acceleration of the cart if we keep the same force but increase the mass. What we're going to do is we're going to first use the same force and just vary the mass. So on each one of these, we're going to push the plunger all the way in. We're going to start off with the empty cart for the first trial. Then for the second trial, we're going to add this one half kilogram block. And then the third trial, we're going to use a second half kilogram block to make the cart more massive. Okay, And so, between these, we're going to see how that affects the acceleration of the cart. So to start off with, we're going to use this device here. This is a photo gate timer that I've got set up so that when this is blocked the timer runs and as soon as it's unblocked the timer stops so this timer if you can see that red light will only come on when I block the beam between these two parts and it'll come, the beam will go off when my hands removed and when the beam is blocked it starts the timer when it comes back on, it stops the timer. So we know exactly how long it takes for this to go through. And what we're going to do is, since it's the same force, we're going to push the plunger in all the way, that distance matches up to the distance of this top blackened area on this picket fence. That's what we call this a picket fence. And so that distance is two and a half centimeters. So we're going to use the same force and we're going to vary the mass. So, the mass of an empty cart is half a kilogram. We put one of those masses in it, it'll be one kilogram. Put the second mass in, it'll be one and a half kilograms. And that distance is two centimeters, but we're going to change it to meters. So that's 0 0.025 for each trial. Because we're going to use the same force, so we're going to use the same distance measurement. And then we're going to use the photogate timer to determine how fast this object pushes off from against the wall and thereby tell its acceleration. Okay, so I've got that set up. I've got this to activate the plunger. And so our first trial is half kilogram cart, plunger pushed in all the way. The time is 0 0.036. 0 0.036. Now we're going to add this block. So now the cart is one kilogram. Think about what would happen if we use the same force, but now we've increased the mass. Reset the timer. Here we go. I got 0 0.51, 0 0.51, and for the last trial, now the cart is one and a half kilograms, and we activate the plunger. 0 
six two. Now that we know the distance and the time, we should be able to figure out the acceleration using this equation. D equals one half a t squared. We know the distance. 0.025 we don't know the acceleration but we do know the time 0.036 and that squared and we should be able to do this and figure out the acceleration now if we do this properly I'll leave it for you to do the calculation I'll give you the answer just to get you started but for this one it should be around 38.6 meters per second squared is the acceleration somewhere around there so if you do that calculation and don't get that double check make sure you square this and took half of it then divided it into that number to get the acceleration for part two of this experiment we're going to keep the mass the same we're going to just have one kilogram in the cart but we're going to vary the force Starting off with a small amount of force first, then a middle setting, and then the full setting. So we're going to keep the mass the same. What would you notice about the cart's inertia? As we increase the force, what would you notice about the cart's acceleration? Now for the second part of the lab where we keep the mass the same but vary the force. And the way we're going to vary the force is this cart has actually got three settings for this plunger. We push it in just a little bit so it only pops out a small amount. A midpoint, well not really exactly a midpoint, but a center point where it pops up that much. Or you can push the plunger in all the way to get the maximum force. We're going to start off with the smallest amount of force and increase the force with the same mass. We're going to leave one of these blocks in so this cart's one kilogram. And what we also have to do is we have to change the picket fence. This large block at the top, that's for when we're pushing the plunger in all the way. For that first marker, we're going to use this smaller blocking part, just one of them, and that is half a centimeter. So it's 0 0.005 for our distance. For that central location, we're going to use this bar right here, which is one centimeter or 0 0.01 meters. And then for the last one, when they have the plunger in all the way, we're gonna use that large bar again. So we're gonna start off with the picket fence in this situation with the plunger in just to that first notch. I'm gonna set this so we're only going to get that very first blackened area and we're going to try this so make your predictions how do you think the acceleration of this cart will go if we keep the mass the same and gradually increase the force so one kilogram cart 0 0.005 distance and if I can hit it just right Let's try that one again. I want to make sure I got that right. Here we go. 0 0.025. Okay. Now, push it into the midpoint. I'm going to have to lower this so I get the space in between okay one kilogram cart that middle force setting 0 0.033 and now back to the full force setting 
raises back up and set it right before that block. And so now we try it again and we get 0 0.049. that time okay so now calculate the acceleration and the force for each trial and see how they compare between each other thank you and I'll see you again later bye